The words of the teacher, son of David, king in Jerusalem. Absolute futility, says the teacher. Absolute futility. Everything is futile. Now, I think the moment that this feels like the, the most of a reality is actually after getting the thing that we've been hoping for for a long time or you know, finally achieving the thing that we were hoping to achieve for a long time. You know, whether it is a degree that we've been working towards. You know, how, how often do we hear someone um, after asking them, like, how do you feel after completing this great task? And they're like, yeah, I feel good, but it doesn't feel exactly how I thought it was going to feel. Right? Or how many of us long to uh, own you know, our house, own uh, real estate, own investments, uh, be married, uh, have kids, like all of these things can actually be great gifts and very good gifts from God. But none of those were ever meant to satisfy. In fact, if we look to them to be what satisfies us, I think we'll always come up short and feel that feeling that Solomon did at his, he says, Futility, all of it is futility. Now, contrastly, if we find our source of satisfaction in Christ, who says in John chapter six that he is the bread of life, he who eats of me will never hunger again, man, then we actually are in the best spot to hold those other things. We're in the best spot to steward over the stewardship that God gives us to enjoy the good things that he's given us, to be able to see them as good gifts, but not the satisfier. when Jesus was the only one that was meant for that spot. And at the same time, I would say, when we do things for Jesus, everything can actually have purpose. Whether it is when you're at home and you're serving your spouse, when it's, you're at home and you're discipling your kids, when you're at work and you're doing it for the glory of God, when you are at school and you're on mission with Jesus, everything could have purpose and can be a, a means of investing into eternity as you do it in faith, in Christ and in obedience, and as you seek to bring him glory in your stewardships that you've been given. So it was just a quick thought that I wanted to share with you guys. But the, the thought is, is to not get lost in looking for satisfaction in lesser things. And at the same time, too, for the believer, it's not a one-time thing that we have to find our satisfaction in Christ. But over and over, we have to continue to keep going to the source. It is so important that we go to the source daily. And we're reminded of how good he really is. God bless you guys.